what up today i'm gonna show you how i made these sweet potato cheesecake bites okay let's get into it so first i use honey cinnamon graham crackers i use like i say a couple bags and i put in a so i grounded those up and i melted like a fourth of butter like one fourth one fourth of butter and I put that in here because we're trying to get this to a sand light, a wet sand consistency. This is going to be our crust. Okay. It's going to be our crust. So once we get that, how we need it to be that wet sand, which, you know, keep stirring. And if you got to add more butter, do that. But we need wet sand. I put it in my little cupcake muffin little holders. I don't know what to call these, but I put them in those and you know just a couple scoops just enough so we can taste that okay just enough i'm gonna freeze it while i make the the cheesecake and the sweet potato mixture so i had to be a little ghetto with this i'd use a little seasoning container because i didn't have nothing else that i could think of that could you know smash this down so you see me using that seasoning salt i did clean it off if, if it makes you feel any better everything i use is always clean so it ain't like my stuff tasted like seasoned salt okay so then this side looked and then like i said i'm gonna freeze it i freeze it after i froze it for like an hour i'll say this was a stick and a half of cream cheese then i added in a fourth cup of sour cream and you know gave it a little mix and mix because we want everything eat we want it still to taste like a cheesecake so i made it like i do my normal cheesecake but i could have took away some ingredients i'm not gonna lie so this is how i was looking this after i added the half cup of sugar so so far all i added was a fourth of sour cream and a half cup of sugar now i'm adding one egg mix it in first you know get make sure it's really in there before you add the other one i like to add mine individually not together that's when the second egg came in i could have used only one just because like i said i'm only making cups so i really didn't need two eggs because it's not a whole cheesecake but you know whatever i added like a good tablespoon of vanilla extract because mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you need that you need that for your cheesecake you need that little taste you need that taste and make sure you are tasting it by the way just in case you need to add or take away something well you can't take away nothing at this point but if it's not sweet to your liking make sure you add that now i boiled my sweet potatoes this was like two two big ones i boiled them until they were like mashed potato like like you know till they were tender boil them to their tender i added a fourth of evaporated milk a fourth of butter mm -hmm. that's all i added so far to these you know tender sweet potatoes then i added in a teaspoon of vanilla extract and two teaspoons of lemon extract and then we're going to do another half cup of sugar mm-hmm Make sure you get that in there. I'm going to have all the, you know, the measurements down at the bottom for you. Then I added in, I'll say like maybe a half cup of heavy cream. I eyeballed it, but I'm going to say maybe a half cup. You could go less if you want to. Then I added in some cinnamon, also eyeballed. I just made sure I had enough in there because like I always say, taste as you go. Because I definitely tasted mine. I know how to eyeball my seasonings. That's why I never really have a seasoning measurement for you, but eyeball it but don't do too much okay now this is when we assembling we're gonna assemble cheesecake first i you know put them in the cups first make sure you put enough but not too much okay you don't want to overdo it because you still got to put your sweet potato on top like so this is just how i did mine i wasn't really following no specific recipe i just you know improvised because i wanted to do a whole one but i had to improvise with some cups so it was still good and this is a staple now I was doing a spoon at first because I completely forgot about the the um I was about to call this a Q-tip, the toothpick thing. Um, but you see, I got it. I got it. We gotta make our swirly swirls, okay? I wanna make it swirl so you know that it ain't just a sweet potato or just a cheesecake. I want you to be able to see both and know that it is a both, okay? went ahead and cooked that on 350 for about 25 minutes and i kept mine cold so i put it in the refrigerator afterwards you can put it in the freezer if you want to because i did have to do that just because so, i i like it cold if you want it warmed up you could do that but it's good cold y'all it is so good sweet potato cheesecake bites 